Good morning, rise and shine, because we have a new fog event in Dragon City, and we will be going through the full guides for this event as I have created maps as usual, and I'll also be going through what option I think is going to be the best for you. But this new Gecko Bolt Dragon is available in the new Gecko Temple Fog event. So you see we've got the heroic race going on and then we've got the fog event up top. And in this event, first thing I'm going to say is do not click these buttons at the bottom. They are useless. What you need is a map guide to show you exactly which tiles that you need to click on. We have 700 starting currency and you'll be able to collect 2000 currency per reset. So what you want to do if you want to get currency for every reset is go and hatch a level one dragon, whoever that may be. Like we've got a mud dragon here and we can hatch them, but then feed them up get your 2000 currency and then that is your reset currency done for that day and then you can come back the next day get another 2000 so you can collect 2000 each day the other thing is we're going to have currency in ads as you can see here and we also have currency available in the quests which are over here the golden gecko quests so you'll definitely want to be taking advantage of those but the full guides for this event are available in the dc event guide section of my discord server so if you want to go and download them or take a look at them you can but i will go through them in a moment but these maps go through the best path to just get the dragon itself and also the path to get all of the event items and i will say in advance that my recommendation is that you go for the event items because the event items if you collect enough of the golden geckos and you end up finishing the final part of the collection you will get the new gecko dragon anyway but if you miss reset so you can't log in very much then you can if you just want the dragon itself you don't care about any of the other event stuff which I don't really recommend, but some people want to do that, then this would be the guide for you. So you start the middle, go down, right, down, left, and then you go the top part of the path. But this shows you that the total cost is 5,410 to get the dragon, but you can get about 7,150 currency from resets, quests, and also res uh, like resets, the quests themselves, and the starting currency is what I wanted to say. So you can very, very easily afford this and a couple of extra items on your way through. However, the Gecko Bolt Fog map for all the event items, which again, you won't get the dragon straight away, but you will get items such as the blue items that we need for the big collection. You'll get the geckos and you can pick up insignias and mythatomic particles. That will be 8,145 currency which is around about a thousand currency more than you can get without ads, which means that you'd be hoping for a thousand currency from ads, maybe a little bit more if you don't finish all of your quests. But a thousand currency from ads is very doable. So even though we may end up improving this map, and if we do get any improvements, I will repost this into the DC event guide section with any cheaper costs. So I would recommend saving up all of your currency until the final day while we keep updating the maps and then spending it on the last day on the map that suits you. But it should be very doable as far as I can see. I can't see any reason why not. A thousand currency from ads, very easy, especially if you get one of the big... Um, you know how you can get the jackpot drops for a thousand? Get a single one of those jackpot drops and you are Gucci. You are done skis. That's it. Event easy done. So the reason I really recommend the event items is because the collections, although it will be very difficult and you will have to hard grind every single event, the final collection can give you the dragon itself, the event dragon, and it will give you heroic orbs. And the heroic orb drops can be huge. It can be the difference between being able to empower it or not. And we do also have the start of the heroic quest for High Grotto as well today, which we will do in a second. But in terms of the collection I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Secrets in Paradise collection because you need the Paradise Heart and you need the Geckos to be able to finish off this final collection, the 48 item collection. And again, in this, you are guaranteed to get Gecko Bolt, you get Legendary Joke Robes, and you get a really, really nice high drop of High Grotto. So... I always recommend going for the event items these days when we have these collections. Again, you will have to grind every event. You cannot afford to miss any of these Paradise Hearts. And that might also mean in the Heroic Race, you might need to get your way all the way up to lap 20. And that may seem a bit crazy. However, 
One thing about this heroic race, if you've been thinking that this heroic race feels a bit strange and it feels like things are a lot easier than usual, well, it's because they are. Um, you'll see that currently I have just passed over into lap 11 node 5 and lap 11 node 5, two days into the event, seems incredibly fast. I know that there are some people on lap 13, lap 15 right now that haven't spent tons of gems and if you want to know why this is the case, it is because for some reason, when they put the laps together in this race, what they did is lap one up to lap seven got increasingly more difficult. But then on lap eight, for some reason, they put the same cooldowns as it would be from lap one to seven again. I have no idea why, but it means that once you get to lap eight, basically you start the event from lap one again, except you're getting lap nine, lap 10, lap 11, so that is why you may see people on a really high lap really early on. And it's because basically we've got the lap one and two resets all over again. So you know how you can finish lap one in like, what, 10 minutes? Well, you can finish lap eight in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so it's a really weird race and they seem to be changing the heroic races every single time recently. Not sure why, but it does keep us on our toes, and it means that you definitely, definitely need to be using Deetlist and Ditlep. And again, they will be uh, correct for the most part. They may have a couple of errors here and there, but these will show you exactly how long they take. And again, lap 11 is just a repeat of a previous lap. So uh, if you've already gotten to lap 11, then, well, just repeat what you've already done the previous laps and you'll be good to go. So we do have a bit of a wait timer on the collect food for this lap, uh, so I'm not going to worry about this one too much. I do also have my skip that we can use on the battle timers as well, but I'm liking this race so far. Question is, is lap 20 going to be possible so that we can get that part of the collection? I don't know, uh, we will we will take it as it comes, but it's looking like lap 15 should be easy sailing for the most part, especially compared to other events that we've had at least. Uh, but I mean, if you want to take a quick look at some of the further down laps, let's take a look at, let's say, lap 13, for instance. Let's look at lap 13. We've got no cooldown, no cooldown, one hour cooldown. We've got battle, so you could always save your skip for that one. Then a two hour cooldown. This is super easy and nice uh, lap again on lap 13. Lap 14, no cooldown. Uh, we've got a six hour set of cooldowns on battles, 27 minutes, 54 minutes, and then two hours. That's also pretty reasonable. That's much easier than what we've been having recently. Then we look at lap 15. We've got no cooldown timer. We've got an hour and 17, two hours 30. We have a really long 16 hour battle one, but you can skip that with gems. Skip the longest battle and you'll be easy done with that one. Just wait the two hours 30 for the breed. And then we've got the final part of lap 15, which yes, this one's quite a long one at six hours ish. So this one is starting to get into longer territory, but a six hour wait timer plus, you know, the battles timer, that's like a day maybe that it take to finish this lap. That's not bad at all. Then we go to lap 16, no cooldown, hour 32. We've got long battle timers, but again, we go back to this old format, which is really, really short or a really small amount of total battles. So you can easily skip that. So if you just wait the two hours 32, skip the long battle timer, that'll be lap 16 done in like no time. So it's gone back at lap 16 to the previous format, if you remember what it was like to skip the battles. So it will still be quite gem costly, but if you do skip with gems, it's going to be super duper easy to make your way through these couple of laps anyway. Five hour timer, you'll just have to wait that one out. And then if we go to lap 17, again, no cooldown, hour 24, two hour 36, and then we've got a long hatch eggs, which this one's probably worth skipping, to be honest with you, the eight hour one. And then we've got a set of battles and whoo wee, 12 hour wait on collect food. Yeah, you just have to wait half a day on that one. Uh, so it does start to get a bit spicy about lap 17-ish. And then if we go beyond lap 17, then we've got no cooldown, hour 18, three hours, 10 hours. So then it starts to get a bit more difficult. So I think what's happened this time is they've made getting to lap 15 super easy for some reason. But then if you want to get to those higher laps, like up to say 20, that's where the true challenges come in. So maybe they're really trying to test us with this collection chest, which I get it. 
Because if the idea behind this is that they don't want the collection to be quite as easy as it's been, but they do want to make the actual heroic easier to get, that is the best way to do it. But if you want to finish this collection, you need to get all of your fog geckos. You need to get your ad geckos. And again, if I check my ads, we've got the fog currency in here. Let's hope for the 1k in the roulette chest or the roulette wheels. And then you can see that you can get up to times three drops on your geckos in there. And that is another thing that will dictate whether you can finish the collection. It's going to be how many times three geckos you can get because your RNG could just give you a ton of times one gecko drops. And in that case, well, you've just... That's it. You've just been screwed by RNG, unfortunately. So that should be everything that you need to know about the actual fog event and the collection that goes into it. And also the heroic race portion of it. Uh, but it's a lot of grinding, yes. But I'm really happy that at least it should make it so that now, rather than everyone having a struggle getting to lap 15, it should be really easy to at least guarantee the heroic if you want to be lazy. So I would say even if you're barely logging in, at least unlock High Grotto for free on lap 15. If you want to ignore the very cool golden bones, that's up to you. I think it looks sick, actually. Like, that actually looks like a cool skin for once. Uh, so if you're like me and you want to get the orbs and you want to get the skin, we'll probably be grinding. But if not, lap 15 should be a breeze for you. So wish you the best. If you're lazy, go for lap 15. You'll have an easy time. So... That is the main stuff that I wanted to go through. Again, I'm going to save my currency for now until the final day to make sure I can definitely afford that map or any better maps that we see posted. That's what I'm going to do for now. Other thing I did want to check up on is how you're doing in your leaderboard events because, of course, most people at the moment are, uh, you know, they're grinding out the heroic race. So most of the points are coming from the heroic race. I'm at 12k and I see now that we have a mission to spend fog coins, which is also, of course, one fog coin is going to translate to one leaderboard point score, which should really help us. And we do have the entire event duration to be able to spend those. So you don't have to spend them straight away. Just spend them all at once and it will count your score anyway. So there is that. Uh, my leaderboard seems relatively inactive. Maybe these players just aren't playing the heroic race. I don't know, but we seem to be doing okay so far. So I'm holding out hope. And of course, the other thing that we need to do today in order to get some points is do the wizards hollow. Woo! Now, in terms of this Wizards Hollow, I am very tempted to spend gems because I do not yet have Focus Karma, at least I don't think so. And I didn't mention this yesterday, but this is actually an okay uh, seeming heroic, uh, heroic based Wizards Hollow because you can get just random heroic drops. Imagine getting a random Hydrowsy drop out of this. And also, of course, we do have Parliament drops. Most of the time, you're going to get times one Parliament drops, but. Maybe you get super lucky and get times 100. Lovely trade fodder, even if you don't want the dragon herself. But, you know, if you are going to go for focus karma and we're considering spending gems anyway, you might end up picking up some free heroic eggs on your way through. Usually the drops will be unlikely because, you know, golden runes are a pain to get and you're not always going to get golden runes. But if you can pick up free parliament chests, free heroic eggs on your way through, well, look at that, we're halfway there. But even if you're halfway there at this point, that doesn't mean anything. You might not get a gold drop for the entire rest of your run. But, you know, I don't really spend my gems on hollows too often. This one would be slightly tempting because of the dragon itself and the potential rewards. But you have to remember that we do have the heroic race on. So if you're looking to do well in the heroic race, and especially if you want to go to those high laps, I would still consider saving your gems as much as you can until later on. Because again, you saw some of those cooldowns later on. They're like 20 hours nearly. And uh, you're going to have to spend gems on them if you want to finish them quickly. There's no real way around that. Oh, if only we got the times 12 gems drop. We're so going to run into the wizard in a second. I'm going to run. <laughs> oh... How about I do times 10 once more for you, just because you're here. If we get a gems drop, I'll keep going. If not, I am going to bail, even though it's a, a two, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, but 15 gems is OK of an investment, you know, see how the waters are going. Uh, but it's not an insane drop. Two parliament chests, two gems. Oh, it's not really a run that's looking good for gemming any further. Let's see where the wizards appear next. If it's this one, we're going. Ten jokers? Okay, ten legendary jokers isn't bad. 
oh, life saga gonna run into a wizard. It's gonna be disappointing. Uh, but that's the the way of the holo game. <laughs> oh, every single click terrifies me. Makes me poop my pants a little bit. You know the feeling. You know the feeling. Oh, food. That's pretty bad there. Oh. <laughs> Every step of the way through, I get more and more scared. Oh. oh, God, are you gonna hate me if I run away from this one? Okay, do you wanna see me waste my gems a little bit more since we're here? I'm gonna I'm gonna go a bit crazier for you here today. I really wanna get a gems drop. I at least wanna try and get one of these heroic egg chests. Oh, Wizard Chan, please don't do me dirty here. No! <laughs> Oh, uh, God, imagine if we could have gotten a gold drop there and then continued on for a couple more rooms. That sucks, man. You see, if we do 40 here, then it's going to be 40 and then it's going to double again. Oh, I just can't. I just can't do it. I think we have to take the loss. Oh, if we'd have avoided this wizard here, that probably could have been huge for us. And plus, look at that. 1.17 million food is not something to, you know, puff your nose up at. I mean, it's really tempting to gem this to try and get this Karma Dragon, but is it, is Focus Karma really worth like 200, 300 maybe gems? Probably not, is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to pussy out. I'm going to quit. Disappointing. But if we'd have gotten a bigger set of gem drops, I definitely would have continued on this one. But the Parliament Chess, uh, we're going to get timed ones in those probably, so it's not worth it. Now, you probably would have continued on with that, but I think the reason I primarily won't continue in this case is simply because we are mid-heroic race. And to be honest with you, heroic race to me is more important than potentially wasting all of our gems on a random karma. Uh, so, yeah, call me uh, pussy lax all you want. That's fine. I will keep my gems for now. Uh, you know, I always get tempted to do it when I'm recording. When I'm on my own, I always dip earlier on, but then when I'm recording, I'll always go an extra 20, and then it's like, ah, it always bites me in the ass. <laughs> Apart from the couple of times where it didn't, and that's why the, the temptation is there. But this is how they're going to get you. You need to you need to put your thinking cap on and your logical cap. Is it really worth it when the chance is really low of you being able to continue a lot further in that run without spending, like, at least 200 gems? Probably not. So that's what factors into my decision making. But, you know, every every chance you don't take is one you lose. So, you know, good luck if you're going to go crazy on the hollow. Personally, I'm going to chill out and try and get more, more realistic things like High Quantum Wormhole and the other dragons that we've got recently. So that's, that's what I'm focusing in on. But anyway... For now, I believe that that is mostly everything that is going on at the moment in Dragon City. Again, it's mainly just the collection. Of course, make sure you are claiming your daily streaks every day so that you get the free extra insignias. But it's mainly leaderboard event, uh, the heroic race, and save up your currency until the final day of Gecko Temple. But I do wish you the best of luck with your ad drops, whatever they may be. Again, a 1,000 drop in the ads is all that you need to guarantee all of the event items this time around, assuming the maps, I haven't made any mistakes on the total cost. So, get watching those ads. Best of luck, and uh, I hope that we can all get these lovely, lovely max collections. And also, just to throw it out there, you know, in the offers, if you do really want to get Quantum Phasing, he is currently available for 400 gems. Uh, there's only a few days left in his quests are on right now, so if you're gonna get him, get him right now. But 400 gems is quite pricey. You should probably try and trade for him first. If you can't get him through trades, maybe you want to consider buying him outright. But 400 gems for a Quantum is very expensive and not really worth it, to be honest with you. But it is there, so I'm just gonna remind you in case you want to take advantage. But anyway... I'm going to keep sitting here and, you know, faffing about waiting for these battles to get done. I don't know why I'm collecting the food, but, you know, we'll keep logging in, getting these battles done, and we'll wait for our food timers. And before you know it, hopefully we will be on lap 15 and lap 18, and then I can just, you know, decide where to go from there. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy your weekend. For now, ciao.